their interest in, in cover crops for these prevent plant acres. Um, I know you guys are using them, but is there, do you think there's more interest out there? I feel over the past three, four years, I mean, soil health and cover crops has been the hottest topic. So I, I'm, I'm encouraged by that fact and, and think the future is just going to get better and better. Yeah, this way you will probably just add to that cover, people using cover crops because they saw what it did. And I mean, just when you tried to find the seed last summer, it was just like hard to find. So there was a lot of producers. I, I think if, if we'd had a little better fall, you know, a little, we would have saw a lot, lot of cover crops go in. People just couldn't get them in. Or they, they tried to, normally you can always figure that it, August, you can, it's going to be dry enough you can plant some August, September, and this year was just challenging that way. Yeah, I was working with the producers and that was the plan, you know, get some seed purchased early and then late July get that cover crop seeded and that window just never came. So if they end up with prevent plant in 2020, that's one thing they're going to change. As soon as they get some weed control done, they're going to try to get the cover crop planted regardless of, of when that is. If it's earlier, so be it. Last year just didn't give us a window. I mean, that we had seven inches of rain the end of uh, July, 1st of August that really set us back. We hardly planted anything in August, which when we thought we were going to get most of it planted. Um, we got some in July, but it was it was marginal what we'd done. I mean, hopefully this year, if we get in a PP situation, we'll have a window to do it sooner. And if you have to terminate that cover crop, you know, so that it doesn't go to seed, that's easier to terminate than, than some of the, the tougher weeds is what some of the producers have been telling me. So I would say, personally, I won't terminate in fall. Um, we've had buckwheat, flax, other things go to seed in fall. It, it doesn't worry me. Um, it, can, it can grow in spring and we'll take it out with our pre-emergence. Um, that extra growth in spring is actually kind of a benefit. Okay. Um, so that doesn't really worry me. It, yeah, like I mentioned prior that, you know, a lot of times if you surface apply some of the cover crops and everything may germinate and grow, you may see something years down the road. As long as you're aware of what you got there for the next year or two as being a potential issue, know how to handle it. And just a few plants here and there across the fields, not not a yield no. effector, not a big deal. No. Yeah, I I used to worry about it too, but I've let quite a few different, especially if they're annual crops. Like the I put when I put oats in the mix, I mean they. I don't know if the seed's viable, but if you put them in early enough, they'll usually put seed on in my behind my small grain and it's not I think the only thing you really have to worry about is like the annual rye grass or the cereal rye if you're going to go to wheat then you might want to watch those but most of the other things I, I don't really worry about them going to seed. That was a big topic last year buckwheat specifically because it does flower so quick and but I pretty much everybody the producers have used it said it's not an issue.